Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll discover different ways to use the ampersand character for nesting elements. Okay, let's just unlock the power of this character. Repositioning the ampersand character from left to right can change less of the way you are nesting your element. Okay, let's just do a basic nesting of a nav item child within a nav parent selector. And because we're following here an order of parent child, we do have to add the ampersand at the left of the child nav item plus space and this is how we do basic nesting and if we check the compiler css code we'll see that we have a nav nav item following the same parent child 3 from html in other situations like this one when we have got a nav active at the same level as nav item the ampersand character should stay at the same position left without space, then the selector. Just take that in mind. The ampersand character refers to the parent. In our case, it's replaced with nav item, and in the previous case, with the nav selector. And from the compiled code, we have here nav, nav item, then without the space, we have nav active. We saw how to use the ampersand character on the left of a selector plus space, and we saw also how to use it on the left of a selector without a space. Now, let's just move on to something people don't use that much. I'm talking here about using the ampersand character at the right of the selector. So in our case, we have multiple pages that uses the same navigation, home page, services and about. And we want the background of the navigation to change depending on the page the user visit. So we'll use three classes for each page. Home page class for the index.html page, services class for the services.html page, and the about class for the about.html page. And because the navigation is considered as the child of the element body, so we'll use the ampersand at the left, so home page, which is the parent, then the child nav, and don't forget the ampersand to tell sass that this is a child and a space. Okay, let's just do the same thing for the other pages, services, and we change the color to light green. Same for the about page, and we change the color to light pink. If we visit each page, we see that the style is applied, but the problem is that the code is repetitive. We have got this nav selector repeated three times. Plus this code is also not organized because this is a nav styling and we want to change the nav styles within the nav selector. And this is what we want to achieve. Let's comment this code and move the home page, services and about within the nav selector. But Wait a minute, the selectors are not children of the nav selector. What the heck am I writing right here? Don't be confused, because we'll not use the ampersand character at the left. However, we'll use it at the right of the selectors, plus a space, just like that. And as I already said, that an ampersand character is always replaced by the parent, and because we are moving the selectors within nav, SAS will use the selector nav as a parent and replace the ampersand character by nav selector. The result works perfectly and if we take a look at the compiled code, we see that this ampersand is replaced with nav. Okay, enough of nesting. Let's just move to pseudo classes. We'll test hover for this links right here. Okay, same here, we've got a nav link selector and because the pseudo classes are at the same level as nav link, we'll go for ampersand, then colon and hover plus the color. Okay, we'll go for pink. Cool, and if we hover the element, it works. We can do the same thing for the other pseudo classes, active, and visit it. That's it. So far, we'll learn how to use the ampersand character in order to nest element by using it at different position, left and the right, plus we used it for pseudo classes. I would love to hear from you on the comments section if you never use the ampersand character at the right of the selector because it's rarely used at this specific position. 